there's a very negative stigma about Islam in the media nowadays. Sadly, the projection of Islam is really negative. The word Islam means peace. What is up everyone? Welcome back to Total Sport. And today we've got a really special guest and we're doing something a little bit different because it's this uh Adil reached out to me actually and and he he, said, he suggested something along along this uh, these lines and it sort of inspired me because it's always been something that I wanted to do um in terms of changing perspectives um but before we get into it mate ideal how are you are you good i'm good not too bad thank you chris how are you i'm good mate i'm very good um so before we get into it um let's have a just a quick chat about who you are and and what you do um especially in the in your islamic community so my name's adil i'm an imam of the ahmadiyya muslim community um we're based in more than 200 countries around the world um, and the unique thing about the ahmadiyya muslim community is that we believe in a Messiah who came in 18, 1835 and after him a system of caliphate started. So we've got the fifth caliph at the moment and we are Muslims who have accepted the Messiah and who have pledged allegiance to a caliph. And it's nothing to do with ISIS, nothing that you see in the media. In the, in the, in the media. Um, our caliph promotes peace, love and brotherhood and cohesion and interfaith harmony. Yeah, um, and that's the, it's one of the main topics that we're going to sort of get on to today is sort of the views uh, on Islam in the media and how uh, some of it's, and um, well, actually, no, the vast 99.99% of it is unfair, really. Um, so in terms of yourself, though, Adil, um, I, I believe I read that you are the youngest imam in the country. Is that well, One of the youngest. Or one, one of the youngest. youngest. Oh, that's, that's, so uh, how's that for, for you, really, you're being such a senior figure at such a young age? It's more so about the, the burden that's on our shoulders. <laughs> Being an imam is no easy task. I mean, in the uh, when we hear the word imam, we automatically think of a bearded person who's got a, a massive beard and big spectacles and uh, long clothes and stuff. But that's that's not... The, the imams aren't people to be afraid of. Like, Muslims aren't uh, people to be afraid of. Imams are, are, are basically... Uh, units of people who work around the world or countries and their main task is to make sure that the neighbors are keeping well make sure that their community members are keeping well and making sure that there's always programs or some sort of initiatives and programs that uh, the community members and the neighbors are working uh, in in cohesion with uh, and basically just creating bridges and uh, building bridges uh, between societies so yeah. more than anything else it's a heavy burden because you're looking after your own community members whether they're Muslims, non-Muslims, uh, or whatever category they come under, and then looking after uh, people who you interact with in your social circles, uh, in, 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 your, in your wider neighbourhood, and making sure everyone's keeping well, keeping safe, doing well, um, and yeah, just finding programmes to keep them busy and engaged and, um, and, and, and creating cohesion in society, basically. Yeah, definitely. And I, I definitely, I certainly took an interest myself in this because I feel like a very, very similar like task or like thing to, to bring people together is sport. And obviously that's my passion. That's what this channel is about. Um, and Islam in sport is something that, I mean, you don't hear that much about, especially in this country, um, in terms of in the media. Um, but, but in terms of in the media, first off, uh, Adil, um, how do you feel like the view on Islam is has been and is changing and should change too. You see, the 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 there's a very negative stigma about Islam in the media nowadays. Sadly, the projection of Islam is really negative. The word Islam means peace. You can't have peaceful terrorism. They're oxymorons. They don't go together. The, the word Islam, the the precepts of Islam, it, it has been based. On the, uh, on the precepts of peace and promoting peace and spreading peace. You know, Muslims all around the world, there's, um, they, for example, our community in the UK, we regularly take part in services to humanity projects. For example, we collect blood for the NHS. We do charity walks each year. Pre-corona, we used to do it every year. And the year before corona started, so in 2018, uh, uh, we collected a million pounds for British charities. Every year, November, December time, we'd be at supermarkets, superstores, train stations, and tube stations, and we'd be collecting for the Royal British Legion for the puppy appeal. We pair up with night watches and we feed the homeless. We go to we visit the sick and elderly in care homes and hospitals, and we try to play our part as much as we can in society. And since March last year, until uh, March last year, since De December last year, 
Did you just give a rough figure, a rough understanding? We've we've delivered more than twenty one thousand um, food parcels and medicine deliveries to households within the UK. We've provided more than six thousand two hundred units of PPE, and we've donated them to frontline workers. And we've delivered six hundred seventy three thousand pieces of PPE on behalf of the government. We've given more than one thousand seven hundred meals to students and their families. And we've given more than ten thousand food packages to frontline workers. We've given more than one thousand six hundred meals. To the homeless, we've given more than 530 um, toys to orphanages. So we're trying to play our part as much as we can. Yes, the media can do um, can help massively in in the help uh, in the sense that we Muslims will propagate the message of Islam regardless of how uh, much what kind of reaction we'd get. We'll all always be there to serve our community and our community members. The founder of Islam, Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. He said that, or he taught us that loyalty to the country that you're residing in is part of your faith. Loyalty means that when your country is in a tough or difficult situation for you to rise up and to take responsibility and help in, in creating a subtle, for example, whether it's economy or, or, or just generating or creating peace all around. So within a Muslim life for a muslim it's really important for aid to serve their community uh, serve the nation that they're living in to be to come become assets in the areas that they're living in and see to help out uh, help out as much as they can whether it's collecting litter from the streets whether it's donating to us whether it's standing and collecting for charities that the founder of our community um uh, uh, mirza peace be upon him said that he came for Muslims all around the world and he said, look, my ardent desire, the reason why I've been created, my heartfelt yearning is to serve humanity. The motto of our community is love for all, hatred for none. And we practice what we preach. And so the media can, in, in this sense, help us project the true and peaceful message of Islam. We're portraying the true message of Islam, regardless of what happens. We don't do it for appreciation. We don't do it come in, in, in newspapers we do because Islam has taught us this and whereas if there is a news story for example where someone has committed an atrocity if it's a Muslim the headline will automatically read a terrorist has committed this if it's someone else it probably most likely read that um, a mentally ill person or a person who has issues at home so naturally what is happening is that terrorism and Muslims are being so interlinked with each other that vice versa, when a person hears the name of a Muslim, they'll automatically think of a terrorist, which is not the case. The, if you see the Quran, the Holy Quran, the scripture of Muslims, it is laden with full of messages of love, peace, brotherhood, cohesion. There's a verse which says that if you save a single soul, regardless of their, that soul's status, whether it was a minor a person uh, and not considered worthy, uh, in society, regardless of who it is, the Quran says if you kill one individual, it's akin to killing all of humanity. And if you save a single soul, it's as if you saved all of humanity. So this is the precept that Muslims work on, and the foundation of a Muslim's life is based on peace and spreading peace and love and harmony and brotherhood. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's amazing what like a few words can do on the perception of a whole people. Like it, it's it's quite like disgusting to think that that this this is happening to people who are spreading so much peace and mm. like the only the only message is peace um and it's really like frustrating and harrowing um but in terms of uh in terms of changing that this is what we're here to do and try and start to do today you know even if we can only make a little tiny imprint on on what people's views are on on islam and if they do have prejudiced views to to actually take a look around them and see the actual the the faith is in in its practice you know doing all the stuff that you said you did and it's again it's not for the fact that you want to do it it's for the fact that you, well you do want to do it but it's not for the fact that you want appreciation it's for the fact that you um you know, I always say that education breeds tolerance. Yeah. And once you educate yourself on who Muslims are, or just make that minor step of actually speaking to a Muslim, or having, uh, of course, now, uh, at the moment we can't, but when things get better, have a meal with a Muslim, sit down with a Muslim, speak with a Muslim, and you'll see that we all laugh, speak, even cry in the same language. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, we're going to talk about sport because we can't we can't come on total sport and not talk about sport. Um, so, so in terms of 
Islam and sport, especially at the moment. I know that uh, you guys do some incredible stuff because I know that there's exercise in the body is like a temple almost to you guys. And, and there's, 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 there's various generations in, within Islam. There, there's, a, there's a saying of the holy founder, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, where he's emphasized regularly that a strong believer is better than a weak believer. In exercise, make sure your body's fit because if you're fit inside, then when, when you're working throughout the day, whether uh, it's in the mosque or outside or wherever you are, you'll feel, feel more fitter and you'll be able to deliver whatever you're doing in a mu much uh, a better way. That's why exercising, you see that during the lifetime of the Holy Prophet, Muhammad peace be upon him, he used to do horse riding, he used to do various other activities as well. He, he even, there's a narration where he used to race his wife. I think there were about uh, two, three occasions where he would race his wife and once he won and then the other instant he let his wife win. Um, so he <laughs> practiced uh, forms of exercise and within within our community, we, we have different uh, phases or different kind of programs that we're running where we are promoting uh, exercising and exercise. Because of lockdown where everything's gone virtual, we have online workouts. So there's a instructor, or, or someone who leads the session, they come on Zoom, they open their camera, and they whoever, however, whoever wants to join can, and the instructor would say, okay, do five star jumps, and everyone, wherever they are, they don't need to turn the camera on, they can just do five star jumps, and it's a whole workout session, and that happens regularly throughout the week. We also, before Corona, used to have um, an annual retreat, so in Tilford, there'll be about five, six, seven thousand of us that will be gathered. We, the whole purpose would be to um, have meet up have academic and uh, sports related uh, competitions uh, and to just spend time together pray together uh, remember god together um, and so we would have for example we'd have football competitions cricket badminton um, uh, all the olympic sports that you can think of sprinting uh, egg and spoon race a tie um, three-legged races, whatever you can think of that happens in, in your school sports day or in the Olympics, kind of, uh, as much as we could replicate, we would do. Um, and so we would have that uh, on an annual basis and the kids would take part, the elders would take part. It would be a healthy competition that would happen. Um, and even before the national retreat, we would have regional retreats. So different regions across the UK would have their own regional competitions. And then we'll do, uh, before that, local comp every year. So for example, Croydon would have theirs. Uh, Birmingham would have theirs, Leamington Spa would have theirs, and in that they will have some sort of sports competition as well. So whenever we do get together for our local, whether it's local, regional or national retreats, there would always be a sports competition element. Um, and apart from that, we also have the Ahmadiyya Muslim Youth Football uh, Team, so the Amy Football Team. Um, so wherever we can, however we can, we do promote sports. Before Corona again, we used to have the International Masroor Cricket Tournament where teams, Ahmadi Muslims uh, across the world um, would come to London, but they would come countrywide. So Australia would bring their team, Belgium would bring their team, Germany would bring their team, Pakistan would bring their team. And they, they used to be a cricket tournament, full cricket tournament. They, we regularly hold football tournaments. Um, our youth members actively play squash, badminton, uh, uh, whatever sports they can, table tennis, tennis, um, they actively take part. And so uh, sports is a heavy component that we um, promote, access, uh, motivate our, our, our members to take part in. Because as I said before, um, the, the, founder of our, uh, the, the founder of Islam, the founder of our community said that a strong believer is better than a weak believer. If you're fit, if you're strong, uh, in the sense that you've kept yourself fit, you've maintained your fitness, you would be able to do all your daily errands and exhaustions with, with, uh, much, in a much easier, easier way. Yeah, and it's, an ama it's amazing values. Uh, to have and to keep for everyone, not just people in Islam. Like if you keep yourself nice and fit and healthy, you know, it always helps out. But, um, but yeah, thank you so much for, for joining us, Adil. It's been, it's been amazing to, to sort of learn perspectives uh, in that respect. Oh, uh, <laughs> well, thank you for having me. It's been a pleasure to speak to you, Chris. It's yeah, it's been amazing. Um, and we're going to try and get some more. So as Adil mentioned, um, you know, the football team, cricket teams, uh, we'll try our best to get a few more people on to, to really showcase Islam in sport um, because it's a really important issue. And if we can change one person's perspective, we've we've certainly done we've done our job. 
um, which, which is the main thing. So yeah, thank you so much once again, Adil. And for you lot at home, um, make sure to, oh, where can we find you on social media, Adil, and, and all, the, all, all the organizations and stuff like that? So, uh, so to study more about our um, our faith in general, we have a website called alislam.org. So A-L-I-S-L-A-M dot O-R-G. Um, for more formal matters, for example, press releases or what the community is doing, how they're working, um, we've got the website of Press Ahmadiyya, so A H M A D I Y Y A dot com. And in, on social media, we're on, um, for example, we've got Twitter handles. Uh, you can follow uh, A M Y A underscore UK. So that's the Muslim Youth Association that's based in the UK. And uh, they uh, provide uh, daily updates on whether it's sports related, ed- educational related, or things that are happening within the youth department. So th- that's a Twitter handle that can be followed. That's amazing. Thank you so much once again. And uh, yeah, for you lot at home, we will see you in the next video. Ta-da.